So this video is on the course of um, representation theory and we, in the previous video we saw uh, an example of, of equivalence between two representations and in this video we introduced the concept of standard representation of the symmetric n group. Okay, so we define this mapping phi from the. So, in a way, we are going to get a representation for the symmetric n group, okay? So, we define a map from the symmetric n group to the general linear group of n, n by n matrices, under complex entries. Of course, we are going to use the standard basis, okay, or the canonical. In some languages, we say the canonical basis. Okay, using the standard basis. Um, so the phi is given by phi of sigma of e i equals e of sigma i. Okay, so one obtains this uh, matrix. Okay. At the end of the day, it's just a question of permuting the rows of the identity matrix according to this sigma. Okay. Uh, if I say this, nobody understands me, so the best thing is to give an example. So I'm going to let me use an example. Let us say our group G is S. Let us use a small number. Um, S3 okay so for S3 the vector uh, space is going to be the complex 3 right okay so um, so we have a representation and a vector group okay Okay, now we need a representation. Okay, let's call it pi 1, our representation. And we are going to apply the elements of S3 um, in the complex, in the, yes, in a matrices, uh, in this case, dimension 3 by 3. So we are on the standard basis. So the identity meaning the, the permutation where 1 goes to 1, 2 goes to 2, 3 goes to 3, that's the identity of the group, right? The identity will go to, so 1 goes to 1, 2 is in 2, and 3 is in 3, right? Okay, very easy. So it is represented in, uh, this matrix represents this permutation. So here I'm using cyclic notation. So 2 goes to 3, 3 goes to 2. So 1, 2, 3, 1 stays the same. 2 goes to 3, 3 goes to 2. Right? So 1 stays the same. 2 move to 3. And 3 move to 2. And here we have the representation of this permutation. And now uh, everything goes as expected. So 1 goes to 2, 2 goes to 1, 1 went to 2, 2 went to 1, 3 stays the same. 1 goes to 2 goes to 3, so 1 went to 3, 3 went to 1 went to 2, so 3 is in 2, and 2 goes to 3 goes to 1, so 2 goes to 1, here you are. Okay. Okay, so um, we had a representation here, pi 1, of the, the symmetries, right, to this matrix um, E sigma i, as I said before. Okay. So this is the standard representation uh, 
in this case of S3 and you can do the same for Sn. Here you are, phi of sigma Ei, uh, E of sigma I. Okay, so this is the, uh, the matrix. Of course, in the standard basis, that's why we have these uh, vectors 1, 0, 0, right? We are using the standard basis. Okay, so this is the concept of standard representation of a symmetric N group. Let me just give you a quick last note that will introduce me, introduce my next uh, video. Uh, you can see that phi of sigma E1 plus E2 plus En equals E of sigma 1 plus E of sigma 2 plus E of sigma N. Okay, but this is equal to E1, E2, En, right? This last equality, um, do not forget that the sigma is a permutation and addition is commutative, right? So this C of E1 plus En is invariant and my next video is going to be about that, invariant uh, under all phi of sigma. Okay, of course, sigma in the symmetric N group. Okay, so I'm going to introduce in the next video the concept of G invariant subspace.